Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the next review video. Uh, we are talking about mostly Ligue 1 but also a little bit of Coupe de France which you know I I didn't watch uh, anything of the Coupe de France but I uh, still thought it's uh, worthwhile talking the results because uh, there were a few interesting things happening. So let's say we go uh, straight into it. Here are some selected results from the round of 32. Uh, I think the standard results, of course, Nancy, uh, B, second league, Nancy beating Stade Rennes on penalties. And in the Coupe de France, it is 90 minutes and then straight to the penalty shoe, so there, uh, there's no overtime. Uh, so that was kind of a surprise for sure. Um, uh, but then there are also some other surprises that like Bastia getting ahead of Clermont. Okay, you might say, you know, Clermont just got uh, promoted. Bastia uh, is uh, all, all, all always there. So maybe not too much of a surprise there. Um, but also, you know, uh, Tao only losing 1-0 to Reims. And that's a fifth league side, uh, Marseille, who I'm uh, wearing 3-0. Uh, win and then uh, a PSG. I mean, when I, I heard much of the Coupe de France, everyone said, Yeah, three goals, Mbappé over one. It is one. I think only for uh, only three goal or uh, three goals is probably what I will would expect. However, what I uh, do uh, want to point out a uh, check out the jerseys of one, they are rather interesting. And second, um, I hear that Mbappé was actually kind of, you know, being the man of the people there and really um, embracing that he is the star there, which is something nice to see. However, the big uh, one was uh, the northern derby between Lens and Lille, where Lille had a 2-0 halftime lead and in the last minute uh, Lens did find an equalizer and then they win the penalty shoot in the derby. So uh, that was a pretty big result there a little bit momentous as well i would say and in the next round we actually have a few interesting matches i mean the first one is already a breton derby yeah i know technically not it's not in the bretagne but you know not against brest let's put it that way um we have also two fourth uh tier sides with versailles uh and bergerac perigord uh as i have to play in toulouse and bergerac uh, in, at, at saint etienne and then uh three further matches between Ligue 1 teams with Marseille against Montpellier, another sort of derby, Lens against Monaco uh, is definitely an interesting one, and PSG against Nice, uh, the outstanding one. Of course, Nice was not in the previous uh, uh, sheet, because Nice did not play, because they would have played uh, the winner of Lyon against Paris FC, but since there were uh, the fights in uh, Paris, both teams have been expelled from the cup competition. Little note on Monaco as well. Uh, they sacked, of course, Nico Kovac and got now uh, Clément from uh, Bruges in there. Uh, it's going to be interesting how it will work out. And he uh, actually got his first showing uh, in the last round uh, of Ligue 1, where there have been, again, three postponements. This time it was because of COVID. So Ligue 1 also trying to play catch up. Uh, it's already a very uneven table. Um, I only saw the last game of, of, of this, uh, not a little bit of uh, Bordeaux, Marseille, but uh, just glancing over it, not really watching Marseille getting the win in Bordeaux. Um, loss against Rennes, you know, another win for uh, another win for loss, another loss for Rennes. It was kind of a topish game, but uh, Rennes. A little bit trend, 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 trend down, but Nice, a pretty emphatic win at Brest, who have now not scored in two games in a row after having scored in so, uh, since the beginning of the season. At ev every game, uh, Strasbourg win the derby against Metz, uh, Arsas against Laurent derby, and then uh, Nantes Monaco a nil nil. Was not a great match day uh, in terms of the goal, but I gotta say that the big game between Lyon and PSG actually on most levels delivered it was. I did watch it. Um, unfortunately, there were only 5,000 spectators high up in the stands. You didn't see them. Um, but I gotta say, while PSG had control, uh, for especially in the first half, Leon was deadly on counter attacks and got an early goal nicely. I see the Guimarães that uh, sent Paqueta, who then uh, pulls it in, and Paqueta is now rumored to go to PSG, which I, yeah, that's an interesting uh, transfer for sure in many ways. Uh, he, of course, kissed not the Leon badge. Yeah, and then you go to PSG. I hate that when players do that. I mean, if you are a club icon, 
Yes, but if you're kissing the bed, just uh, as it doesn't look right to me. Um, I actually think that with a little bit more clinical finishing, Lyon very well could have gotten um, a second goal goal as well. But then on on, on the other side, Mbappe, who uh, you know there was no Messi, of course, ne 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 Neymar is out. Uh, gonna say that. Uh, Mbappé ran the show, Icardi of course the usual uh, phantom there but not, not really dangerous. Uh, it still did not look quite right, Mbappé tried to uh, win the game by himself. Uh, which sometimes, uh, you know, to the consternation of uh, his teammates who thought, why are you shooting from here? And on the other side, when he takes take, take, take the ball, you're just watching because he is a special talent. That's uh, for sure. Um, and I have to say, the, uh, up until the 60th, I thought that Leon maybe could pull the upset. But then it really got more and more into PSG's hands. Um, and uh, he actually made some interesting substitution with Kera Simon and Michu coming out, uh, youth team players. And then it was Michu that assisted Kera then uh, to get an equalizer. And then PSG were pressing for the win. And I think everyone thought, I mean, PSG is only scoring seemingly in the last 15 minutes. Again, the late goal, it was in the 76th. And then you really saw the script, PSG is going to win this at the end. That they didn't is probably the biggest surprise of the weekend uh, in many ways. So, uh, next round we have another uh, big matchup late between Marseille and Lille. Uh, I actually think that Brest could probably do something against PSG, but you know, the way they have not been all that great. So, uh, let's see. Other than that, yeah, nothing really sticking out for me at the moment. I mean, it's not, but uh, yeah, we'll get to see. For some reason, uh, the Strasbourg more pay, but who knows? Uh, let's uh, check uh, very briefly the table. Uh, PSG again far ahead. I mean, they are not playing great, but they will win the championship rather easily because the rest has either points deducted or uh, they just keep beating themselves. Uh, I said it in the performance review. I mean, at the moment, it's Nice and Marseille. That's kind of a tier behind the rest, but uh, it is so, so tight. Uh, in that league that you can very quickly go up and down uh, there as well. On the bottom it's also relative, that is also at the end is a definite disadvantage but Bordeaux is also not safe and that's uh, you know another big name that is in trouble and we saw this already last season. I want to end this video uh, by you know there was no action the RDVs here but at least we have a next round coming up this uh, weekend. Uh, not really uh, no, fair not. Vitesse. Vitesse played well last season, so uh, that's maybe one uh, to watch. Utrecht against Ajax. Um, not really thinking that this might be causing trouble, but I said that before. And Groningen against PSV is also an uh, interesting uh, match if you want to watch the RDVC. So that was it from me from those two leagues. Uh, please drop a comment below if you want to add anything to uh, the happenings in these leagues. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.